Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another NBA 2K21 next gen video. Where today, we're going to try something out. We're going to experience something here. So, here's how the story goes. So, I'm on YouTube every day. I watch YouTube videos every single day. I turn on YouTube today. First thing I see in my recommendations is a video from the one and only Joe Knows. Salute to Joe Knows. Um, I don't, I'm not subscribed to him. I've watched one, one or two of his videos. He's not bad at anything. I just, I just never subscribed to him. So the video that they recommended me for, it was called NBA 2K21 Next Gen 84 Badge Demigod Build. Best build in NBA 2K21. I immediately looked at it and I said, cap. Cap. But I watched it. Uh, the amount of badges you can get in each section is perfect. A couple of the attributes are a little shaky, though. And I'm going to show you. Let me get into this. All right, so he recommended the power forward position. And I was like, eh, because I want a guard. But his vibe... But the way but the way everything was set up, I can do we can deal with it. Alright, so here's how it goes. So it's supposed to be six seven. Uh the weight is two ten and max max that wingspan. Okay. I'm a defined brother, we all know this. <laughs> and then we continue. Okay. So it goes like this. So he doesn't touch the close shot. Which immediately I said that I said what? But I kept it moving. I said, alright, cool. So he maxed out the driving layup, so 94. Boom. He maxed out the dunk, 95. Boom. Uh maxed out the stand dunk, 79. Boom. And then he put the post control at a 44. Okay. Next for the shooting, he Max out at a 90. So we got a 90 mid range. That's actually not bad. <laughs> Three point shots at 84. Okay, so we can shoot. That's that's great. And free throw we put at 72. So we actually can hit the free throw and hit a shot. That's actually not bad. I'll deal with that. Okay. 20, 20 shooting badges. Oh, we about to be in business. <laughs> you feel me? Alright, so he put pass accuracy at a 85. Okay. Ball handling max out at 82. Okay. And speed with ball max out at 84. Okay. So we're at 85 already. So we got 10 left. So now I'm just going to move to the vitals. I mean, so to the physicals. And show you what he did. So he had the speed maxed out at the 85. Boom. The acceleration maxed out at the 81. Okay. Boom. He didn't touch strength, and I'll explain why. Um, vert is at 70. I guess that's fine. And stamina was at a 90. Boom. Okay, so at 89 out of 95. So how did we get all this going? The defense, because we, we don't got much room to breathe with. All right, so he maxed out the perimeter defense at a 95. No steal either. Well, as a big man, you're not really supposed to have a steal, so I guess that's the way you hide it. I don't know. Um, he put a block at 93. Offensive rebounding at an 85. And a defensive rebound maxed the way out at 94. And this is what it's looking like. 6'7 height, 7'4 wingspan at 210. So the only things I have a problem with is this. The close shot at a 25, that means layups. But if I'm driving most of the time, 
then we really won't need to lay up. And if I could shoot, then I really won't be in the paint that much. But I can rebound if I need to. But then, like, the close shot's still killing me. So that's so weird. Plus the interior, no interior defense. That's another problem. I can't be in the paint like that. But it gives me the leverage to, with the 85 speed, to be able to move around. And be able to move um, move matchups. Like, somebody's going to have to guard me out there if I can shoot. So I can probably move the power forward this way. And with my speed and the fact that I got ball handling, I can actually do other things. Again, I don't really care for... I mean, I'm, a, I'm supposed to be a power forward. So I'm a forward in a sense, so really still don't really matter. Um, I got a high block and a good rebounder, so that's good. My speed is good. Acceleration is perfect. Stamina, I actually could not <laughs> lose so much. I can shoot, dunk. Plus, I can pass with handle. That's not bad. This is, I, I, I like the way this looks. The only thing that's going to bother me is just a close shot. That's it. Other than that, everything else should be pretty straightforward. Um, Yeah. That's what I'm with. Alright, so he put his uh, primaries at <laughs> limitless range. Yeah, limitless range and easy blow buys. Yes, and we have created an offensive threat. Shades of Jason Tatum, John Collins, and Pascal Siakam. I kind of was iffy on it, but if I really think about it, may not be bad. So let me see what type of badges I could have. Let's test it. So let's put the uh, overall rating for testing at 99. Um, all right, so let me see what I could have, what I'm going for. So post is going to be at Hall of Fame, most definitely. Um, I could have three Hall of No, not three. I could actually have all four Hall of Fame badges. So let me see. What would I want? <laughs> Uh, I need rise up. I know that. Um, I'm driving. I'll probably get pro touch. Um, fearless finisher. Maybe Hall of Fame. Nah. And then I'll have to get another. It'd have to be like that. Well, I don't really need pro touch like that. So I'll probably get with uh, Giant Slayer. Or I could switch off to like Live City Finisher. I could put put back boss. I, I, I guess it all depends what I want to go with. So let's say we go with that, right? Let's say we go with that. Um, shooting. I got 20. Um, let me see. So the first, so the first batch I want is catch and shoot. Um. D3s, Sniper, probably Hall of Fame, a Green Machine would be Gold, oh no, I can go Hall of Fame, and we'll get that, I always, I always like the Gold, um, I'm never going to try to break it down to my friend, that's not necessary, um, I, I, I probably would do it, um, Set Shooter, Boost shots ready, gonna stand still, three pointers. Probably this. Um, and then probably something like uh not rhythm shooter. Probably hot shot just to get my still. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I probably have like one Hall of Fame here. But we'll figure it out. We just, we got a lot to work with. Playmaking. That's in, this is gonna be interesting. So I actually have the ability to get dimer, which I will use. Um, quick first step. Um, 
tight handles. Got him a plug on gold. Um, ankle breaker. Probably not even ankle breaker. Downhill, you definitely need that. Probably Hall of Fame, I'll get it. I'll probably just put Dimer on gold. Floor General. Boosts up everybody. Handles for days. I could probably get that Hall of Fame. Maybe Needle Threader. Maybe Relay Passer. I'll figure it out. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess the only benefit with this as well is I'm 6'7", so I actually could play the guard position if I wanted to. Um, so yeah, that's that. And defensive rebounder. <laughs> um, Clamps Hall of Fame. Intimidated Hall of Fame. Uh, rim protector, gold. Chase down artist, gold. Ankle braces. Pogo stick. Probably won't even need all these gold. Probably just put that silver. Uh, rebound chaser. Right. Tireless defender. Or whatever it is, man. We can, we can, choose, we can choose whatever. We, we can definitely choose whatever. We'll do what we can. But that's, that's pretty much what everything is looking like. I'm definitely going to try with this build. We're going to see. We're going to build it up to where it got to be and... We're gonna work it. We're gonna work it. We're gonna work it from there. All right, let's get it.